This is the Sim Pit video blog, and today's story comes to us from iRacing and iRacing News, and that is the formal announcement of an agreement or partnership between them and Renault to bring in the Formula Renault 2.0 and 3.5 liter cars into iRacing. This is two brand new open wheeled cars, which is something that iRacing could use, and it really fills in that ladder system. Most importantly, I'm going to tell you, I'm pretty excited about these cars for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Formula Renault program in Europe, the 2.0 leading into the 3.5, is the path to Formula One. And there are very few modern Formula One drivers who didn't take that path. Think of Max Verstappen. He was just running in the Formula 3.5. Now he's running in Formula One. That's the way it works over there. That is the ladder to the highest level of racing in the world. And now we're going to have those exact cars and we have the new F1 car coming to iRacing, and that really fills in really nicely what we want to see. iRacing's done a great job over the last period of time filling in their NASCAR content, getting it to where they really had the full season, the proper cars, the modern cars, and all of that. And now you can see they've really pushed and they're putting a lot of energy into filling in that Formula One, that equivalent to the worldwide or European highest echelon of motorsport. Another reason that I, in particular, so, so, so excited, mm, so excited about this particular announcement is that I've actually driven a Formula Renault 2.0 at the Allenberg Racing Schools. So I'm going to have a link to two different videos, two different opportunities. I had to drive one of those cars. Fantastic real life machine. I can't wait to drive it in the sim and maybe even get a chance at driving the Allenberg car again and make that real life comparison from sim to the car. And then imagine driving the 3.5 variation of it. I'm also going to have a link to In Racing News where you can check out this article, see what they have had they have to say about it. They've already begun the process. They have some CAD work already in. They have some data that they're already working with. So the car is in the works. No word on when it will actually be available. It'll probably take a little while, but something we can all look forward to in the near future. This is the Sim Pit video blog, and I'll see you on the track.